Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Their Eyes. A horror game where you have three minutes to escape before it's too late. get here. Keep an eye on the stamina bar. Yep, there's the stamina bar. And we have a little bit of like a floaty movement. So this is a multiple ending game. We'll of course get all the endings. Walk away or press middle mouse to dismiss text boxes. Press T to toggle off tutorials like this very one. Hey, a cow. Good for you, cow. You live your cow life. And pixelized birds. Press P to pause the game and check your inventory. Press backspace to restart and escape to quit. That is a very interesting inventory you have there. Press space to interact with something or to talk to someone. Dialogues change over time depending on circumstances. Some pigs. There's some bones. There's a, uh, a question mark. Get out of my way, pig. No, no, no. Oh my god, I've already broken the game. Oh, I'm free. Thank God. A notebook. Most of the pages have been blackened with ink. Red piercing dots stand out here and there. Are you okay? What are you doing around here, boy? Don't you know it's only three chimes in a night? It's gonna be dark soon. Me. I'm just a shepherd. I take care of my cattle. Oh no, we take care of each other. So many spooky people around here. You shouldn't talk to anyone. I don't. I talk to ants most of the time. Ants have a lot to teach us, you know. They never stop. They don't miss a crack in the wall. Either, as long as there's something to scrounge. Those bones on the yard. Well, boy, how can I put it? Do not mess with my cattle, understand? You won't last long out there without a proper weapon. Spooky people, as I said. Not to mention the night. You ask me why? They always come at night. Above all, they don't like strangers. Their eyes drive people insane, or so they say. I'm lucky I'm still in my right mind. Anyway. Me? Okay, same dialogue now. Goodbye. What could possibly come at night? That's a big threat. Well, that's weird. The path to the north disappears into the wood. Exactly, which is why we're going to follow it. Ooh, disappearing trees. A campfire. Someone else was here recently. Right mouse to aim. Left mouse to shoot. Middle mouse while aiming to reload. Okay, I don't see like a cross or anything, so it's just where the gun is pointing. This is going to sound bad, but he's like, Hey, don't mess with my, like, animals. Is there, like, a bad ending if I shoot him? I'll do that later. Press enter to peer ahead. That's a specific control. Well, there's, like, a body in a house there. Looks like we can't cross rivers. There's high grass, which means there's, like, velociraptors here. We gotta be careful. Just cows. Unless the cows are what we have to fear. What... What's wrong with this place? I think it's a little interesting how things are discovered as you approach. And because of that, we discovered a body I didn't know about till now. Looks like I'll need a key for this. Something there. Now... Am I, like, ammo capped and one I can carry, or...? Yes, it looks like that. I could be wrong, but... We weren't picking it up. Well... Well, looks like I could climb it down. I'm not even trying without a source of light. Interesting. Let us remember that. Uh, there's a key here. 
supposed to give me some use, hopefully. Wait, 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 wait. What's that? Stand back. Stand back. Get back. Don't let me shoot you. Oh, God. What? What's going on? Black hearts are temporary damages. You will recover from them quickly as long as the white hearts are still present. That's interesting. Depending on how rare ammo is, it might be more efficient to actually take a hit. Oh my god, there's killer vines. Or tentacles, depending on how you want. Your perspective and what you prefer. That's what I was saying. And it might be more... If ammo is rare, then it's more economical to take a hit. And then maybe have them blow up. And then just heal the damage back. If ammo is not rare... And then the enemies are plentiful, where you're not going to have much time to heal, then it would be the opposite. A bone totem. Kind of creepy. As you know me, I always think in economics when it comes to survival horror. Yeah, so... It's probably best if I don't necessarily pick up the ammo right away. It looks like it fills up the entire thing. Hey, one old odd coin. It looks ancient, but the metal is completely unknown to me. We notice the ammo did not respond. That goes back to what I said, where if they blow up... Oh my god, there's a giant lake spider. Whose idea was it to make a giant lake spider? Why would you make a giant lake spider? A, a very f big and full of Meat giant like spider. Oh, people, I think. Friendly? Hi. I tell you show your face again after. Oh, my apologies. I took you for someone else. Get some rest, youngster. The warmth of the fire will ease your sufferings. Not many visitors nowadays. Well, except during the night. But those are not pleasant ones. Sometimes I feel so lonely in this forest of mine. Look, come to me, be priceless. I once had a kitten, but she didn't make it. I lost her, alas. As I fled the town. Those makeshift totems. Yes, it was me who built them. They're useful against funders, but not only. You are safe here. Those dark things out there are no longer a threat. At least until night falls. Which will happen soon, I'm afraid. Remember, at the third stroke from now on, the sun will be gone. If you don't find a way to escape before that time, you will be doomed like the rest of us. Huh, where'd you get that coin? You're the only one looking for them, you know. Though I'm afraid you won't find other shops nor peddlers around here. Nevertheless, they might prove very useful if luck turns its back on you. Welcome back any time, youngster. Most people think I'm just an old witch. That's for sure. Old I am, and I have seen unspeakable things. But I'm no witch, just a skillful person. Have you been in town beyond the river? I'm guessing not. Your shoes are too clean. I used to live there before everything went wrong. Now it's hard to get there and even harder to leave. Be careful as you cross the swamp, youngster. This is no ordinary place. I kind of figured that by the blowing up snake things. These are no ordinary trees. Anyway. Okay, that's all your dialogue. What is this? The day will last much longer. Oh god. So it is timed. So we're able to tell time because there's a clock there. Well, we better hurry then. Goodbye! What we got here? A pair of boots hanging from that old tree. Welcome to Lockwood. I never heard such a place before. They're coming. I'm gonna ignore them for now. We may have that luxury. See, that was permanent damage. We're going. You ain't eating me, flying fly things. Oh, there was lightning. 
Oh, so those tomes work. The so-called Underchurch dates back to Unreadable. Temple devoted to the forbidden cult of Unreadable. Oh god, there's an evil tree! Oh god! Yeah. The trees. And there's vines coming out of the ground. If I lure you... I'm not too worried about the vines. They're pretty easy to disable. If I lure you to a totem, it might take you out. That's why I'm not making a big effort to, like, dodge him. It's just like, eh. It's on fire? It did destroy the totem in the process. There's one durable tree. Ho ho ho! You're gonna burn, alright. These boots look stout and comfortable. Brush wish should no longer be a problem. Sweet. There was a evil sounding scary scream, but yeah. Alright, anyone home? Hmm. I don't care what they say, I'm not gonna leave. I've been working my whole life to buy this shop and now... Press tab to heal up. Be sure to be in a quiet place though, so it must be timed. Some more ammo. Oh, what? Oh god. I bounced into the every ammo, wasted the ammo, and then got killed. <laughs> Okay, so we're back here now. Oh, do we have to number... I don't see a big use of opening these doors. They were just had enemies in them for the most part. So let's ignore those. Some footsteps going down here. And a body. A lock pick. Press mill mouse repeatedly to pick a lock. Each lock has its own pace. I wonder if that's a, uh... I'm gonna use finger one time. Might be an enemy there. Definitely see him. Okay. Mushrooms? Basement. Make sure my gun is still loaded. Do not, visitor. That hound over there is tamed. It won't attack you, as long as you behave properly. Don't care much about what's going on out there. Never did, even before everything went to hell. See the portacolos over the bridge? It's the gateway to the very unpleasant place. They did horrible things down there when the night... Well, when they started to realize we were all doomed. To cut it short, they buried people that were not dead. They're mad now. They want revenge, but they're stuck. I almost got killed in that shut hole. Luckily I had this. He's wielding a fire axe. Quite threatening indeed. And useful when you want to ask people questions. It's yours, if you're treasoning that I dropped somewhere in that area. So I fled to save my neck. Just a picture. A photo of my friend. She's long gone. By now, so the portal was all I had left of her. Alright, listen up. The switch of the protocols is on the left. Don't wait to open from the other side. Once open, you have 30 seconds to get in and out. If you're late, don't expect help from me. You have to find another way out if there ever is one. Did I skip the 30 seconds part? Or maybe it was the not dead people stuff? Hmm. <laughs> you don't have to go if you're not confident. It could get very messy. Interesting touch how, like, everyone's growing their own crops. Kind of like holding out. Can't never medicate at the moment. So our inventory is somewhat limited. Some useless stuff. Useless! What was else I expecting? Good. Dog thing? Ah. Well, let's go. Weird ghost things. Zombos. Good old photo. We're getting out. Well, look at her, how sweet she was. Here, yeah, take my axe as a token of our gratitude. I 
I miss her so badly. She was my best friend, you know. I could say my only one, actually. She passed away decades ago, but I still keep dreaming of her. But there's no use reopening all that. And you, if you stay too long, you'll end up one of us. At that point, you won't care anymore about leaving. I've heard of some underground tunnels that delve deeper where their night has no power at all. I know much more, but if there's ever a way out of this nightmare, it's very likely down below. Find the deepest and blackest hole and just jump in. Anyway. Okay, this is useful. This means I don't even necessarily you, like, waste ammo and, like, small fry all the time. Um, there is a back tunnel there I'm a little curious about, but at the moment, let's explore the town some more. Totem right there. It may activate. There's an enemy, like, walking right near it. Yeah, I can just break these down now. That's the stuff. They come every night. They're starting to feel home. There is no safe place or eyes on badness. Oh god, it was a graveyard. Move the gun. Oh god, I didn't need that. I ended up wasting a bit of ammo. Upsetting. They didn't make it. Our last hope of getting is go getting help is gone. This land will be forgotten. God has left us. You might be able to take him out with the axe, too. Now, these doors are broken. That's implying... Two shots for those. Oh, my gruesome stench. I have a bad feeling about this house. Check the south room. Hey. One more. Reload. Hopefully they don't respawn if I go down like the stairs or something. And the blind one sent to spawn amongst us. May the good lord help us. Thank you. Paid for itself. Why use a lockpick then? I can just axe everything. What a lovely cannon. Maybe with a little patience, I can have her follow me. Meow. Hey, kitty. Oh my, these bones are so tiny. Oh god. Kitty? What went down in this place? Kitty? Get back, kitty. Get back. Cat! Stay away from the firing line. Cat, stay away from the firing line. Oh god. Cat, 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 cat. It's not bothering us right now, so let's leave it be. Ammo there. Stay away, kitty. Stay away, kitty. Please stay away. Stay there. Stay there. Whoa, that actually worked out really well. Never mind. So hungry. Always so hungry. We should have left lock with the kids when we still had time. This medallion has a strange, somehow soothing aura. Oh, got more uh, hearts. Meow. Come on, kitty. Do you know where you want to go? Maybe the, uh... The... The witch. Oh, God. Kitty. Kitty. You're getting me killed. Kitty. Kitty, I don't want to shoot you. Please. Get out of the firing line. Oh, God. I don't, even, I don't even know if I can shoot you. I'm just not risking it. I don't like that stranger. What's he looking for? In Lockwood. I should have given him a room. Oh god, super pig. Hold up. Oh! 
Oh! Diga, 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 maybe he'll... God, the pigs are tough. We need to get some ammo. What we got here? Useless! Enjoy your stay at Lockwood's Inn. Yeah, I'm sure I will. I hear pigs. I hit an archway. Ah. There's some mess with that. The pigs are pretty tough. Enemy right there. No enemies here. Could be one in the closet. Useless ammo that we don't need. Could be sitting in that closet too. Kitty. Double tap. At last my quest is over. Lockwood is the place. The ancient underchurch lies somewhere below the obelisk. Useless! And a waste of ammo. Giant pig. Plus dog. Run, kitty, run! Double tap! I want to check this out. So far, so good. Locked. What might these be? Some kind of ritual circle. As long as I'm alive, I'll be confined in the graveyard. But if things get worse, I should banish it for good. What did you put there? There's the first bong. Mortician was right. That stranger is dealing with powers that are not of this world. What if I'm the cause of this? Just don't remember. You know what I mean? That cliche. Man, cats just zooming. Cats got the zoomies, as they say. We'll come back to that. Nice. Save some ammo. What a fail mistake was listening to him. The passage was sealed for a very good reason. Useless! Hey, a person! Come here. Wait, what? Memory's fading. Could be disease. Something happened down there. Something really bad. This region looks pretty dangerous. The body's charge. It has to do with the smell of kerosene that hangs in the air. They're burning corpses for good reason. Let's go back to the town. There's still more to explore. This is a risk. Wow, I one shot it. Secret. Oh, what? What hit us? Ghosts! So purge him. Or not. What? Old lady! Dude, me! Oh, I see. My lovely little kitten. This stuff tastes terrible. I feel much better now. 
The dialogue overlaps. I didn't seriously see what she said with the kitten. But we gained something. Maybe we can find something in this area. To counteract the, the gas. Yeah, those are pretty easy to handle just by like running near them and just having them blow. Simple enough. Need me to like, clear out some of this. What the? You better be shooting at that, not me. Friendly? Can we talk? Secret. Secret. What is that? Hey, how you doing? Take these ammo, stranger. You can even against the abomination across the stream. Good to know I'm not alone in this godforsaken place, at least. Have you seen that beast over there? I'm a hunter. I've never spawned anything like before. Can you believe it? The smell of kerosene that fills the air. Right from its body. You think it was human? This here's a shirt on me. Of course, I tried to shoot it, and I've hit it right. The bullet bounced off its belly skin. I'm covering you from here, as far as I can. But don't count on me to engage it openly. Anyway. So there's a giant, there's a titan over there. And I need to be careful. I don't see it at the moment, which bothers me. Let's hide in the uh, tall grass. We will be the raptor. Hey, free health pack. I think I already have one on me. Yeah. I don't see the beast. I see a priest. Hey, priest! Weren't you like the same one I met earlier? You scared me to death earlier. At first glance, I thought you were someone I knew a long time ago. Oh god! Priest, stop talking to me! Not a friend, no. A stranger coming from afar. We were just searching for something. Priest, come in here. Don't stand out there with the fireball shooting titan, okay? That's a third coin. I have to be strong and survive. Without me by its side, this unlucky creature would be weak and lost. Hmm. Without you by its side. Huh. Let's talk a little more. Back then I was still living in the town, right in the house where we met. I am... I was the priest in Lockwood. At least before everyone left. May the world, Lord bless you, Wayfarer. The humble servant of him will always be willing to welcome you. If I'm scared, not at all. Just think about it. Have you ever seen such an extraordinary creature? Its blood is pure oil or something of the sort. But it's alive, capable of feelings and emotions. That is a miracle for sure. A sign said by our lord to enlighten us in the cold valley of tears. Its body may be dreadful, but look into its eyes. They're so sad, so fragile, and it shoots fireballs. It certainly has a soul. It's not a monster, no more than me and you. It shoots fireballs. It's just a stray sheep in the need of love. That witch and the mortician are friend. They have sown discord amongst the Lord's flock. Lockwood is such a lovely town until... Until... Well, I can't remember, but something bad happened. You are a giant fireball shooting Cthulhu thing. I wonder... Hold up. Can these hurt it? That was a bad idea. It's got a giant mouth on it. Weird. Sorry, I need to do this. Wait, what? 
Hmm, interesting. But what about bullets? You know, the fact you can teleport, that's a little suspect to me. Secret. That's where the blood stain was there. What you want to do? I'm out of ammo. Can I go up and smack you? Uh, cool. I will be back with more ammo. Man, he just discovers all the bugs, doesn't he? <laughs> In this case, literal bugs. Okay, I got more ammo. Um, no, you're just bugged out in general. Which is a shame. Well, we're gonna have problems. We ain't getting a good ending on this run, are we? See, I needed to kill you. It's like crying over here. I've been hearing it for a while. Secret. Your eyes, you're not one of them. Never mind, buddy, I swear. Yes, I've heard the scream. Good lord, that poor girl. Something horrible happened to her. There was something wrong about that graveyard. First of all, there was no gate whatsoever. That girl went into the church, and a moment later, I saw her walking among the gravestones. God knows what the hell she was looking for, but then all of a sudden, she fell to the ground. Her chest was ripped open, and I distinctly heard a ghoulish laugh. Something killed her, but I swear no one else was around. There was something lurking in that place, something unearthly. The weapon won't do much, I'm afraid. Trust me. Stay away from the graveyard if you want to live. Stairs. We have one. Okay, I got some ammo. You gotta be something to the south, right? Secret. More ammo. Secret. What's going on over here, mate? That stranger is dangerous. He's good at charming people, but the things he talks about give me the chills. Hey! Don't try that type of stuff. Man, oh man, shot himself. It's gonna be tricky. Ow. The goggles, they do nothing! And take this endless nightmare anymore. I'm gonna grab this. Okay. I don't know if there was a point to this area or if it was just a way to drain my ammo. There could be. Oh, you know what the goggles probably do? Let us see the ghost. Maybe if he didn't keep camping that, it'd be nice. Ooh, I'm on coast. Just like and favorite, subscribe to my undead channel. Yeah, let's move you away from that door. Man, my channel's been kind of dead lately. Ghost humor. Hmm. Ah. 
Don't mind if I do. What have we done? All those poor souls. What's supposed to end like this? Someone here? Oh god. What the? Those who moved the right, so i real. Otherwise, the aircraft will not be pleased. That was spooky and scary. You! You were talking the ritual, didn't you? No, strange. I could have sworn it was you. I'm dead, right? Of course I am. They shot myself the mouth, after all. As a mortician, I was not very liked in town. But these goggles here are a true disgrace for me. No one likes the truth, especially when it's blatant. But who cares? I'm dead, and so will you. Unless you break out of this nightmare before the night falls again in this land. There's a well in the middle of the pastures. That's the gate to the world below. Hurry up now, before they come. Their eyes mean madness. There's ants. There we go. Ah, at least in this area. Hey, what's up? I'm still around, because, you know, I'm a ghost, and... Not exactly going anywhere. Like and favorite, subscribe to Manly Better Zero today. Well, thank you, Ghost. That's very kind of you. Ow! Are you laughing at me? Just because you're a ghost doesn't mean you have to be rude. Hey, it worked. You guys shoot your hair. Don't have any more ammo. I don't know if I can smack you with an axe or not. No, I need bullets. How much health do you have? That's it. You're gonna turn into goo, all right. Now that's great. This wood blows actually some kind of fuel. Lantern's replenished and lit. My lantern finally burning. There is no need to step in this sticky puddle anymore. Yeah, I killed it. What do you do about it? Why'd you do that? Was it really necessary? Don't you think that poor thing had suffered enough? I was teaching the speak you now. Can learn to pray someday. Will I be leaving? You need to hurry. One more stroke, youngster, and the sun will be gone. But be careful. They won't let you escape. They are legion. They want you to become one of us. Save your bullets. Do not fight them. Because you have to. Now go. Straight to the well. Do you hear me? Need to move. Excuse me, you're not going that way. Not gonna talk to them. Thank you. Guy. Well, it should be like right. Even the cows are after us! You've entered down in the world below. More than once you feel like you're not alone here. That's a whole other story. The end. Okay, this time I started a new game to get some more endings, and this time I died. Look at that, there was a hunter bill amongst the bones not by that monster. Well, that would have been handy in the main game. Nice, I can carry more ammo now. Just need to find them. This cannot be. Why is this place so familiar to me? Because it was in the opening of the game. Like, I think you actually briefly see when you start the game. Legitimately. Like, it's, it's a real blink as you miss it. 
Glad to see you again, my dear self. Looks like your futile vagrancy is over. Explain this to me. It's not the first time you've tried to escape. It'll be the last one, I promise. You don't remember anything, do you? I'm not surprised. You do not want to remember. Where have you been this time? Lockwood, of course. Just where everything started. Strictly speaking, where we started everything. Back then, we were still one whole person. We were the one who discovered the Underchurch. We were the one who invoked the night. See, I told you. And we were the one who made the choice to sacrifice those people to appease the Outer Gods. Well, that was just me, actually. My best self. You never accepted the Covenant of Blood. Your weakness was the beginning of our troubles. And the beginning of your madness, too. You did well in the end. You retrieved all the missing artifacts. The alien coins, I mean. I am no longer entangled in your dream now. And I can finally summon the Blind One. You have redeemed your freedom, too. Now choose. The descending staircase leads back to the fictional world in which you have just arrived. A delirious dimension born of remorse, which you have sunk right after the ritual. You can resume your dream if that's what you want. But remember, time is running low. The ascending staircase leads to liberation, to the gentle dissolution of your consciousness. You won't suffer, you'll just cease to exist, and I will be the only one, as I deserve. This is your last chance, so choose wisely. Whatever you choose, we'll never meet again. There's no third possibility, I'm afraid. How could it be otherwise? Don't forget you're unarmed. Do you think you can beat with your bare hands? Don't make me laugh. I have large Kodiak bare hands, or you have meager grizzly hands. It's just a scrap, a slag of regret, and I am the darling of the Outer Gods. Their eyes. I stared at their eyes. Now I know the whole truth. So, what are you waiting for? Um, I'll go with the right one. Good choice, loser. Now leave. The Outer Gods are not forgiving. Ow! They are not, they just hit me. You wake up. Any chances it was just a dream. Either way, you'll never hear of Lockwood again. And soon, very soon, you'll forget even its name. The end. So it's pretty quick to go through the game once you know what to get. Like, you can circumvent, you don't really need much of the stuff in the game. You literally just need enough ammo. <laughs> get the, uh... Get all the coins and, um... Get the light. And just kill the boss. But there's a theoretically an infinite ammo with the one hunter, so... Yeah. Like I said, you don't need to do much. Okay, take a left staircase. Good choice, loser. Now leave. The outer gods are not forgiving. Well, there's a lot of them. I'm gonna end up over here. Got my gun. Let's go. Oh god, we're in the graveyard. I never got the goggles in this run. I speed ran it. I could bust one to ghost. Excuse me. I came to ask you something. Whoa, 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 there's too many. Let's run. Okay, cut north. Ignore that group. So you even notice you one-shot things if you, like, melee them from behind like this. It's pretty handy. Die. We're in. It was true. There was a vast world down here, dense with secrets, secrets, and uncanny revelations. But that's a whole other story. The end. Now this is a game over when the timer runs out. Um, this one has text, but then I got another one that's basically the same thing without text when I killed the one boss. I'm not sure if that was just a bug or not. Maybe they both are supposed to have text. 
The night got you. Their eyes are dreadful, and yet so fascinating. What's going on? It's getting dark. It doesn't look like it's evening yet. Why'd you take so long, youngster? It's too late now. Too damn late. I was so hoping this was the real thing. Ah. <sighs> So this is a quick section of some things I kind of missed that I encountered while I was just going for the game repeatedly. Because you gotta replay the whole game um, whenever you get an ending or if you want to see a never ending. This is something I encountered when I was going for to see if you could uh, alter the game a bit with by killing the NPCs. And yeah, this is what happens if the cat dies. It essentially becomes an unkillable thing that haunts you forever. If you attack the farmer or any of his animals, basically the entire starting area becomes completely aggro, and it gets pretty hard to survive unless you leave the area and come back later with more ammo. This is some text near the witch's house that I missed the first time around. That kind of links into the endings. Unreadable. And we're just performers, forever entangled in his fictional world. A world born out of regret. Also, this is what happens if you kill the old lady. Um, essentially, the ghost in the graveyard gets released, and it will kill anything in sight, including you. And if the old lady is dead and you come back to the house, she will remain as a ghost there. And also, every totem pole will disappear, will be broken, meaning that her entire house area is no longer safe, and enemies can follow you back there now. So that's it for their eyes. I think it's pretty decent. I like the time mechanic. I do like the idea of sometimes time mechanics are stressful and bad um sometimes they work so this is i'm gonna compare this to say dead rising because i think dead rising is one of the famous ones with a limited time mechanic it's and where it's in dead rising it was somewhat annoying but it also like added a lot of tension to the game um it only just kind of like hurt when you like we're trying to save the npcs and stuff that was the only real part of that game but there's no npcs here it's just you and pure survival Although mechanically, it's much more simpler than Dead Rising. Which is alright. You know, it's a free kind of short horror game. It's actually this person's first game, at least her first published game on a uh, website anyway. So I think it's a very promising work as far as, especially, like I said, especially as a first game. Some of the narrative is a little bit quirky in the sense... It, sometimes it feels a little bit detached because it's mainly in notes. And these notes are kind of very optional, but then some of them are pretty cool, some are not. For the most part, the narrative is just, it's a dream. But it's not like it's a dream dream. It's a Lovecraftian dream, I'm assuming, where Lovecraft kind of did like these very weird... They're actually some of the more interesting works, I, I think, he kind of dabbled in. He did like some weird otherworldly dream worlds. They were kind of dreams, but also kind of real. I think this is in that spectrum, like that, hence why the the Outer Gods kind of appeared at the end. So, yes, it was reflecting on actual events, like a dream, but it was also, like, real, and then there was some weird reincarnation angle and some splitting of the personalities that was somewhat confusing to me. I like the secrets. I like how you, you could actually kill some of the NPCs. You probably won't, because it's very punishing to restart the entire game again. But there was, like, those nice little details like that. Could have even been more... Some of the creatures were kind of creepy, but I would like to also see once again more of the creepy creatures, like the tree, the uh, the weird sort of the tentacles coming out of the wall temporarily, the giant thing that shot fireballs, all those outer gods you saw that were just kind of ghostly. Even the ghost itself was kind of creepy looking. 
Uh, I would like to see more of those. Like, kind of overpowering weird things and just like uh, killer dogs and goats and not goats, but uh, cows and uh, pigs. But I think it's an overall, like I said, especially for someone who's just really starting out, I think it's a pretty solid work. I'm going to compare it to Faith, because I think Faith is kind of the peak of this style of aesthetic. Ironically, outside of cutscenes, Faith is actually more simpler, uh, simpler graphically. But it did a pretty good job of making that simpleness kind of creepy and contrasty. That's kind of what I mean here, where the generic enemies, some of them are kind of creepy, like the, the undead that shot the tentacle arms out. But the rest of them are kind of like generic and kind of get lost with the black on the black kind of background. But yeah, that's my feedback for the game. One final note to add, I believe that was all endings. I think there's only three endings in the actual game. There's the, the well ending, the wake up the dream ending, and there's the, the variation of the well ending where you, you meet your evil self. You may, there may be a secret way to kill your evil self, but it, I don't think it affects the ending. And then there might be a fourth ending, depending if you count it when you game over. I think that's just a game over, but it's got kind of a cutscene, so it's kind of like an ending. There's a couple of spots where you think maybe there's an ending change, but I think with almost 100% certainty, those probably, um, those would just maybe be secrets at the most, not, not ending differences. On the secret note, I will actually give the developer a lot of credit. They marked the secrets very well. They have a very intuitive kind of hint to where they are, so it's pretty hard to like miss them, at least on the second pass. Maybe you'll miss them on the first pass because you're like tunnel visioning, you're looking at something else or passing through. But as you go for the second pass, you'll almost surely find all the secrets and everything. So that was those were very clever ways of doing it. Like the ants, the footsteps, the like little random blood stains, or like a little bones in funny spots. Great way of kind of hiding secrets in a non-obtuse way. Anyway, so thank you all for watching you play Their Eyes. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.